Carl, I'm going to show you how I do my yeast. It's always good to keep your yeast happy by a nice hydration technique. It's very easy. You take the yeast pack like this. Now, this is tepid water, not cold, not hot. You want to check it's going to be below 90, below 80 is a little bit better. Pour your yeast in here. This is just a simple Cooper's ale yeast. Put a little sugar in. I like using corn sugar, almost pure dextrose. But you can use a little bit of table sugar if you have to, but my corn sugar is best. Put a little bit in here, mix it all up. Just like that. Leave the spoon in. Take a piece of paper towel and cover it over. And leave that there during your brewing process. By the time you're done, the yeast should be ready. Okay, but this is one of your first steps, is getting your yeast ready. Oh, sorry. Long, hard night brewing. Okay, let's check our yeast. And there we go. Now that's some good yeast. Now we're going to go ahead and pitch this into our meat. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, put our yeast in. Awesome. Completely inoculated. Now we have our topper. Put our vapor lock. We're going to put some water in there. Awesome. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to wait a month. Okay? It is uh, August 31st, 2014. So I'll see you guys in about a month. And then we'll do the next step in making this meat. Look at that. This is why we start our yeast off properly. Vigorous fermentation. I started the yeast off properly and I pitched it into this beer last night. 18 hours later, look at it. Nice vigorous fermentation. I also made this mead last night. Pitched the yeast same way. Got it started. Look at that. That's awesome for having your mead take off that quickly. Be good to your yeast, and yeast will be good to you.